How long can you expect your lithium iron phosphate batteries to last? Today we're going to try to find out. Alright, we're going to do a full load test here. You'll be able to see this here in a second. All right. Let's get these batteries charged up all the way. We're going to go to our setup here. Whoops. We're going to change our priority to. Solar battery utility. I don't have solar installed yet. It's coming. So we're going to... We don't have solar. It'll go to battery. But first it has to charge the batteries up to 56 volts. So we're going to let that happen and it'll transfer over. Once it reaches 56, it'll go back on to battery backup. And we'll go from there. Okay. We transferred over, we're on battery power now. And we started this test at 9.55 a.m. Now, everything is on in the panel that I have hooked up. And we're gonna go, we've got lights down here, we've got the furnace on, we've got these lights down here in the basement. We're going to leave all this stuff on, turn everything I have on to full. Full brightness on everything. There's three, six, nine, twelve lights up there in the kitchen. The dining room lights on. Lights on in the foyer. Back here, turn these lights on. Turn the TV on. Go over here to the office and turn these lights on. I've got my this station running, I've got my computer on, I've got TV on, get that computer turned on. Leave it on. Huh? I'm running a test here. Alright, now I'm going to check and see what we're drawing with everything that I have on here on full power. Well, we got bored, so I had Vicky on the sweeper here trying to use up some amp hours. Been running for a while now. Uh, what do we have here? Three hours? I don't know. I'll, I'll have to give you the total uh, kilowatt hours here when we're done with this test but it looks like we're going to be running for about eight hours and I've got everything maxed out we'll get back here shortly MP3 
PPT charge controllers and how they are set up. So let's start with the strings. What you're looking here in front of me is a string one. String two, string three, and string four. That's what my main so panel's drawing right now. Panels. Each string has 12 panels. Out the rest of it is on batteries. Connected in the series, and another six are connected in the series. Hey, it's DMI Inc. If you guys want to find uh, a heck of a setup, go to DMI Inc. on YouTube. He's got some excellent Grafana um, monitoring on his setup, also with uh, MPP 6548s and a crap load of solar. <laughs> All right, see you in a bit. We are at uh, 2 o'clock. Still running strong. Okay, we are eight hours in. Where are we at? Still have 51.68 volts. Uh, current, current and the power have been pretty much steady on everything being pulled out except for, well, you know, when we run the vacuum. You can add a thousand watts to that. Consumed amp hours. 201. It's saying we're at 16% left state of charge. And another almost two hours. We're getting bored here. <laughs> Anyways, everything's running great. We'll check back with you when we get down to 50 volts. Right? All right, we finally made it. 8:20 p.m. So that is what 10 and a half hours. And that was cranked um, with everything we have on the panel. So we should transfer back here real soon. Here's the the Victron shunt reading. 253 amp hours. And we're almost down to 50 volts. 50.1. State of charge is zero. Because that's a, what I had it programmed for. So, wow. And uh, just incredible. The batteries did excellent. And uh, that's with no solar PV coming in. So, stay tuned. We'll run some more tests and we'll post the results here. Thanks for watching. And thanks for supporting the channel, guys. Um, if you haven't done so, uh, you know what to do. <laughs> Everybody tells you. I don't need to do that. See you soon. I have another shout out. If you guys want somebody that is a fantastic teacher, go check out Andy on the Off Grid Garage on youtube we've got two thanks so much andy for your help and uh everything you do for the community so i'll go and pick the next panel and see